Company, world's largest manufacturers of low-pressure tires, presents another half hour of music and entertainment, starring Jack Benny. Last week, in connection with the introduction of General's revolutionary corkscrew grip non-skid tire, we announced an unusuality for hundreds of young men in all parts of the country. It was a rather long announcement, starting somewhat from our customary use of radio. We have been greatly pleased with the many responses from the listening public favoring this message of business messenger and everything. During the week, we have been most gratified to receive hundreds of right away packages. <laughs> the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and here he is in person. Thank you. Thank you, Don. I wasn't hurt a bit, folks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this being the start of the school season for the children, we are going to dedicate tonight's program to the kids, the future presidents of this country. Of course, 10.30 p.m. is rather late to broadcast to the children. Only in the Pacific. Well, Jack, that's, that's nice for the kids, too. Oh, Don, say, when I was a kid eight years old, I never got to bed until 7 p.m. 7 p.m.? Yeah, I was always a sucker for those nightclubs, you know. I'd... <laughs> of course, we lived on a farm, you know, and most of the time I'd go to bed with the chickens and the roosters. And... Well, didn't they mind? No, about midnight, a rooster would look over at me and say, just another egg, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, Jack, I think it's a swell idea putting on a program for the school children. I think so, Don. You know, it brings us back to the days when we were kids. You remember your school days, Don? <laughs> I sure do. Oh, I was a bright pupil, too, Jack. I, I was first in reading, writing, and sex appeal. <laughs> first in sex appeal? Well, yes. And do you know who was in my class? Who? Clark Gable. Well, you're not in his class now, Don. <laughs> You know, I was pretty good in school myself. Really. I was first in mathematics, geography, and hooky. Don, when you went to school, did you ever play hooky? No, just uh, basketball and tennis. Well, hooky isn't quite as strenuous, but I'm sure you would have liked it. You know? <laughs> you know, Don, I played hooky for four years and never saw the inside of the school. Oh, no kidding. Yep. And then when my father wanted me to go to West Point, but I hated to stay away from there, too, so I didn't go, you know, I think. <laughs> Well, and Jack, you, you were on the wrong path. Why, do you know that Abraham Lincoln thought nothing of walking ten miles to school every morning? Well, I don't think so much of it myself. <laughs> and not only that, but, uh, but he used to spend hours reading books alongside of a dim oil lamp. Well, I do that, too, but where can you get a lamp nowadays, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mary had a little lamp. It's pleased Oh, hello. Me. Hello, Mary. Hello, Jack. What's on the bill of fare tonight? Oh, I'm glad you got here early. We're doing a kitty program tonight. Huh? Gee, why didn't you tell me? I would have had my hair curled. You look all right. You know, Mary, we were just talking about the days when we were kids, you know, school and everything. You remember your school days? Do I? I was some kid, too. The teacher gave me some of the best marks in our class. I don't believe it. Well, they're all healed up now. Oh, I thought so. Huh? <laughs> uh, what uh, public school did you go to, Mary? Vassar. Vassar? That's a college. You don't go there until you graduate public school. You see, public school prepares you for Vassar. I know, Jack, but I was so dumb I had to go to Vassar to prepare myself for public school. I see, I see. <laughs> Well, uh, what, did you, uh, what did you take up at Vassar? I started to learn medicine. I wanted to be a doctor. Oh, that's marvelous, Mary. Why did you quit? How would I look with a silk hat and a beard? <laughs> You're right. You're right. After all, I don't blame you. So then I took up telephone surgery. Telephone surgery? What's that? I learned to operate on a switchboard. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out. Scat. Scat. Well, here I am. What, you, what of it? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh, say, Jack, by the way, I saw a preview of that picture you made, Transatlantic Merry-Go-Round. Oh, did you? How is it, Bert? Oh, it's swell. I mean, uh, how am I in it? Well, Jack, you know, after all, Rome wasn't built in a day. 
Uh, I should never have asked that. Wilson, uh, uh, Wilson, this is Bert Wheeler. Bert, this is Don Wilson, our announcer. Hello, Don. Uh, Wheeler, did you say? Yes, Bert Wheeler of Wheeler and Woolsey. I don't care where he's from, every Wheeler should have the general tire because it has the non-skid corkscrew grip and it's blowout proof. Does he mean me, Jack? No, 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 the tire. Oh, I see. Play, Don. <laughs> Boy, attaboy, that was, um, that was Don Bester and his boys playing Don's own composition, Contented. And now for the children's entertainment. Those of you who listened last week will remember we had a school day program. But after the first day, we fired all of the pupils and hired new ones for this week. Uh, we thought our school act was all right, but here's a criticism we received from a professor at Catherine Cornell University. <laughs> he says, uh, listen to Jack Benny's aerial school days, and although he had lots of pupils, he had no class. The, uh, hmm, the plot was prosaic. What's prosaic, Mary? A town in New Jersey. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> prosaic New Jersey. That's near Patterson, isn't it? Well, anyway, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot of new pupils, and we will start our school act immediately. Janitor, open that schoolhouse. Ring that bell. Lift that barge. Hope that veil. Play, Don. <laughs> Even sun go down. Say, Lewis, woman, with your diamond ring. When we were a couple of years. Children, children, be seated. I will now call the roll. Frankie Parker, Jr. Here I am, teacher. I am right here. Mm. <laughs> Don Bester, Jr. <laughs> a little horse this morning, Don. <laughs> Walter Winchell, Jr. You can quote me a saying without fear of contradiction that I'm here. That's something I never knew to allow. Mary Livingston. Oh, I'm here. I never missed a program yet. Where? Right here with Bert Wheeler. Dorothy Lee didn't show up. Hmm. Do you want to play school, Bert? Yeah, Jack. Anything to kill the evening. <laughs> all right, all right. Bert Wheeler, Jr. Absent. We're not serving anything. <laughs> Eddie Cantor. Eddie Cantor, Jr. I'm right here, teacher, but my daughter's from Hollywood making a picture. Mm. Freddie Allen, Jr. Funny thing happened to me, teacher, on my way to school this morning. I'll tell you about it. You seem a woman got on the bus, Never so... mind, never mind. Are you here? Are you here or not? No. That's all I wanted to know. Don Wilson, Jr. General Tire. He's here. <laughs> Rudy Valley, Jr. I hope everybody. Little Rudy is here again. Harpo Marks, Jr. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, huh? Stoop, Nagel, and Bud, Jr. I'm here, teacher. Are you there, Bud? I'm here. We're short of actors. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess everybody's here. Before we begin our lessons for the day, we will have our usual morning exercises. Stand up, children. Now, throw out your chest. Heads up. Hands on hips. Now, pull out your bottles and put them on teacher's desk until after school. Huh? Yeah. Exercise is over. Now, for the first lesson today, we will take up radio. Turn to page three, broadcasting. Frankie Parker, Jr., do you know your radio song? Yes, teacher. Let's have it. Casino, Jack. What time, Bert? At 11.30. Okay. And looks the whole world in the face, for he owes not any man. Week in, week out, from morn till night, you can hear his bellows blow. Good night, teacher. Good night, Don. Good night. I won't be here tomorrow. Uh, who's keeping you home, your father and mother? No, McLaughlin and Ross. You can hear him swing his heavy sled with measured beat and snow, like a sexton ringing the village bell when the evening sun is low. Good night, teacher. Good night, Johnny Wood. Thanks very much for doing this imitation. Oh, you're welcome. A bunch of the boys were whooping it up under a spreading chestnut tree when in walked a girl whose name was Lou, even as you and me. Little Bo Peep, she lost some sleep and didn't know where to find her. And Mary had a little lamb, and there it was behind her. The little boy blew the blow your eyes. Tonight, because of the very flattering interest which has been expressed by the car owners of our audience... The 
National Broadcasting Company. 11 o'clock Eastern Daylight Saving Time. AF, New York.